I wish I had like, I wish I had like, you know, like those like glowy wands so I can try to, oh, you know, I... pinpoint where to go. Oh, oh yeah. Now that would be cool. The, tax, the, the taxi wands. I said what they actually call them. They call them wands. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right. maybe I'll Let's find ones and get some glowers. Right, go. Oh shit! Lord Corbs, greetings. We are all in the prep room. Just this way, please. Thank you. Go ahead, tech nerd. Mm -hmm. Thank you. VR chat just completely I know, right? It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Okay, man, so tonight it's gonna be a special event. It's gonna be... Don't tell me what's that. I found an FBI badge. I found this. I mean, I don't have an FBI badge either. The only thing I hate is that it's just flat. It means you broke the hinges. Look at the hinge. You snapped the hinge back further. That's the worst part! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's Gio. Hey, Chris. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I heard, uh, creatures. I heard Winners just woke up, too. Creatures. Both of you. Cryptids. Father. Both of you. Cryptids. Oh, yeah, corpses. They're going on this tour. Um, why did you have to do it to the frog? So, I want to see if we take a picture with the skybox, because the skybox is, like, going to laugh at some people in the yard. Like, when Cool. Taking the picture in the camera only, in the camera only, not like like you can see it fine, but in the camera it's black. I don't know why. Not in this world, the world we're going to. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Get your damn. Oh, that's a pretty good I kind of crap myself, I come back and everybody's gone, and then all the, the hosts are just looking at me, and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm looking around. <laughs> that sucks. Good. Don't worry about it. They're all challenging. You abandoned me. You didn't want to miss this. Mr. Fred, please. That's not something you want to miss. It's charging right now. Oh, it's charging right now. Okay. That's behind me, right over there. Six. Come on, we need your alarm. Five. Four. You'll find out soon. Three. The tour is starting. Two. One. I'm scared. Welcome, travelers. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers Sorry. between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. My friends, welcome to the Rendezvous, our point of contact to narrative domains. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the pilot. You are welcome to stream and record. Our events are free. I will now drop an invite plus portal to the world of the pilot. Please, at this time, make sure you are friends with someone else here, in case you disconnect and need to be invited back in. You are welcome to add us tour guides. That would be Trey Jim, Rendizo, or myself to assist with this. I'll give you all a few seconds to do this. I feel intimidated. <laughs> Be not afraid. Be not afraid. friend. Well, I mean, look at him. Please. He's a damn boss. Please. That's right. You guys ready for <laughs> the pilot? You gotta see the story. Raven, you gotta see the story now. My heart is not ready. 
My heart is not ready for this again, but here we go! Here we go! Hold on to your ass! And if you can't hold on to yours, hold on to mine. Hold up, I gotta get on my character. It is enough talk. Now, I must tell you that I have felt the ether is thick tonight, and the portal to the world of the pilot will now open. For those of you in front of me, kindly stand back. Where, where, Did you just say uh, the ether is thick? Oh boy, oh no, Plum's going to get in a minute. Ram it, ram it. That's good, the way it's going. Just to back up this way a little bit. Oh, I remember, yeah. That's why I created the machine, Trajan, and Rendizo. That's you. Yeah, pretty much for the whole tour, Um, any any person that starts talking with... uh. Oh Either the 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 oh, special I mean, like kind of just everybody stays quiet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what happened to you, my boy? <laughs> what have <laughs> they done to you? I got it. I, I, I hear you. She's no. My friend, she's 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 dying. Dying. enter the portal. I did this to myself. Oh okay. All right. Let's, let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. Are you this guy box now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See if it appears in your camera. Uh, no, it's just white. Yeah, I don't understand why that happens for people. It doesn't happen for everyone. It's just some people that happen in like that. Do you have avatars enabled? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it feels fun. I don't want to play. I don't remember. Nice. Oh yeah, my ponytail's shorter too. So anyways, what do you think? Hmm. Also, my coat's shorter, don't you? Your hair gets like in the way of people less now. I think it does. I did. That's like part of the reason I did this. I don't know what that is. I know it was referenced in Avengers, but like, I know that. I know that. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna ask cool. Lucian if he's showing my avatar for once. Hey, dude, two well, there. One, two. Okay, so oh, yep, they can hear us. Uh, okay, that's good at least. Two. Spawn back to the Jump twice if you're okay. Any animations? Do you have any uh, animations like a point? You don't know it. I swear to God that you were going to say the fucking the fucking the man in a form of strange. No, uh, probably no, just no. the day the where the trees the the Hello, hey, ah. Pebble. There is no corner of this room. In the corner. Probably one of those days where they just don't feel like talking today. No, Pebble, your avatars are like so different compared to every other. I said, that's my friend forever, is what I am. Yeah, what's up? You're doing. 
But of course. More like Bor Ragnarok. But of course. I'm a fellow on Discord. It's like a fair name. 60 for the initial yeah, banner, I didn't get him, and then 120 to actually get him. Oh, no, it is not. What, this is this, beautiful. What is this exit thing? Oh shit, uh, hold up. There we go. Okay. What exit is that? Well, you're on left. What exit? I did it and popped up in a second. He is with the same. Wait, so is this the second pool or the first pool? Were you here? You were this is the second you time we've done this publicly. This right? Oh, nice. Yeah. Last time was the first pool. We're still, still fresh on this one. We're still fresh on this one, and I think we've ironed out a good amount of the bugs we encountered on the first one. Because some things just kind of didn't make much sense. Yeah. So, I'm not going to say anything. I'm switching up to fly up there if it doesn't need to. Challenges. Riddles and challenges. Is it a It's a wide a massive lag. At the moment, well, a mixture of both, it looks like. Praise be to the hype. I really need more minutes. My friend's apologies, we beg your patience. Just a few more minutes. Yeah, you gotta see what actually happens. But you has you have a sneak peek. You have the sneak peek. But now you're gonna see the sad part of everything. I'm here to suffer. Yeah. The sky. I'm gonna try pushing some. I'm gonna try pushing something, but. But I can't say anything without spoilers, so I'm not going to. Not until the moment comes. Sheen, Cell, I'm gonna admit right now, I am watching you. Watching me? What was that? She don't spoil anything. I know you. I don't have legs. That sounds off. Wait, depends on the context. That's really weird. I had some issues in that time. My friend, apologies for the interruption. Imagine you're stuck. Okay. Please direct your attention to the tour guide oh. to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Thank you. Now he sends Wait, that to everyone. Wait, going on such a long time. Dude, I'm doing a taxi. Oh, no. Friends, we are due to start. Please give your attention to she over there. Lunas, Lunas, okay, the I, I don't know what happened. She, I think she, she thought she was getting prepped. I can send her an invite. Travelers. We are starting, friends. I'm so sorry for interrupting. I always do feel bad about that. Nice to see you. My friends, please lend me your attention. The event is about to begin, and at this time, I have a few points for you to take action towards. We have a record number of people in this world. We are over 50. My friends, if you are experiencing lag, go to your settings now and turn off avatars for either everyone or at least everyone you don't know. This should help with the majority of your lag. While all of you are doing that, I would like to introduce someone special. Next to me is Pimon Nick. Pimon Nick Pop 123 right here. Nick is the world builder. He is someone that has worked closely with me to create the world for the story you are about to go through. It is truly a work of art that required many hours on Nick's part. Please, everyone, lend your thanks to Nick. We all love you. Thank you, good sir. Yeah, Nick. Yeah. Oh, shit, a flip. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's Make go. sure you guys don't destroy yeah, your controllers in the process. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. All those times. Wait. Drinks around me tonight. My friends. Please turn up your world music to where you can clearly hear the wind in this room. You may not want to turn it all the way up, but just enough to where you can hear the wind clearly. I have to turn it all the way up. I have bad hearing. <laughs> now then, oh, yes. my friends, this is a story based tour. And with any tour in the real world, I politely ask that you remain silent during narration. However, please, do talk while we walk. In fact, it is imperative that you talk with your friends as we walk, as working together is the key to alternate endings in this story. But above all, don't worry too much about that. The most important thing you should do here tonight in VR Travelers is have fun. My friends, the story of the pilot will begin. Everyone, please click on the yellow save point. Oh, God. Ooh, Here we go. I like this. Really? If you like this, you're going to love the rest. Well, well. Who who am I carrying today? Mm -hmm. You, you know, always carry carry this one. Hello. Just fine. Wait. In your camera? I do. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Is it white or is it... Okay, it was the other one. It's fine. And I guess it's transparency. Oh. You're more young than I am. Maybe because of that transparency thing. The story begins. Oh, 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 oh. Gather around. Come from Keith. Between the forest and the countryside, there sits a lone house, and in this lone house is a young girl. Every evening, she looks out of her bedroom window, and her imagination soars. She wonders about the far away exotic places her father always tells her about. She closes her eyes and she can see them. Beautiful cities filled with waterfalls and white birds. Majestic mountains capped by clouds so soft one could fall asleep on them. She wonders and she wonders until the sun sets and the crickets fill the air. In her mind, 
she's picturing something else. She's pic she pictures her father finally coming home. She hopes for it with all her heart. It's going to be tonight. She knows it is. Her heart flutters as she opens her eyes expectantly. The sky is purple, and the path outside is empty. She was wrong. He hasn't come home. She shoves the curtains across and turns from the window. My friends, let's go inside and see if she's all right this way. <laughs> the pot is not solid, disappointed. Uh, I really like the art style. Yeah. Like yes, pixel, that'd yeah. be cool. Oh dear. Thrills in the sky. Hmm. I saw in the uh, gathering lobby. They used Trista for one of these, and they're in the one area. Most We've only the, just started. The, the music already makes me want to shed some tears. Guys, Mido Suji's joining. Hodges. Mido Cars. The kitchen is empty. Her mother has forgotten to cook again. The girl grabs an apple from the table, pulls up a chair, and eats alone. She closes her eyes again, wanting to go to another place. The image slowly forms in her mind, wisp of mist rushing by, the gentle rush of cool air in her ears, the deep thrum as she passes through clouds. The land far below her, everything cast in radiant golden light. Then, the sky knocks. No, it's not the sky. She opens her eyes. Could it be? The chair clatters to the ground, and she runs toward the front door. She can't contain her excitement. There he is. Her father is finally home. She lets out a cry of joy and a bit of sadness. Her father picks her up and holds her tightly. Is Mama still sleeping by the radar? Papa's voice is deep and comforting, like the clouds she flew through. Only when you're gone so long. Her mother's voice drifts in, warming the room. She joins them in a tight embrace. I'll always come back, he says. He takes out a sealed bottle from his jacket and hands it to the mother. He apologizes for only being able to get enough for ten months. He seems really sad about it. Don't worry, the mother says. I'll manage. I always have. And soon, the house is filled with the warm glow from the fire, the sounds of laughter, the smell of a roast, and the little girl could not possibly be more happy. After dinner, the girl asks her father for another story about the pilot. He looks at her as a smile slowly spreads across his face. My friends, let's all go together and listen to father's story this way. I'm digging this. He's a good door. Oh, yeah. Oh, he I'll be right here. <clears throat> you get a lot of work. Oh, that's a Mario block there. Interesting. Oh my God, a treasure the young girl jumps into bed, and then the father and mother sit either side of her. The father tells another story about his daughter's favorite hero, the pilot. Each time the father would revisit this story, the pilot would be on a new adventure, 
but each time, a few things remain the same. The pilot flies to new worlds with his legendary ship, and wherever he goes, he meets new friends who need his help. The odds would be stacked against him, but thanks to his trusty legendary ship, he always saves the day. The girl remains awake till the very end. And then the father asks, as he does at the end of every story. So, why do you think the pilot helps people? The young girl squeezes her bunny doll and cheers. Because it's the good thing to do. And the mother and father look at one another, smile, and then laugh. The daughter doesn't know what happened, but she laughs with them anyway. As her parents leave the room, the girl asks if, when she grows up, she can fly to other worlds to help people, like the pilot does. Of course, the father says. You'll be the greatest pilot, and someday you will save the day too. The mother looks out the window. They tuck her in. The father turns off the light, and they leave the door ajar for their daughter. Let's go back downstairs and let her sleep, my friends, this way. Damn. Damn. Good here. Yeah. They got a tree in this house. <laughs> Whole ass tree. Alright. The mother and father sit together in the living room. She asks him if he did what he set out to do and if he was tracked. He says the same thing he always says. Of course not. He was careful. He starts talking about being able to get away with unregistered flights and is about to go on into the tendency for military officers to turn a blind eye to a certain amount of excess cargo when she stops him with a finger on the lips. She reminds him that she knows all this already. He laughs and gets in one more detail. She will always know when anything is approaching thanks to the military radar they stole. If a military vessel gets near, it will notify her. She nods. She knows this already as well, but they both decide that it's a topic for another time. Her husband is home again. She's missed him dearly. And so, they go to bed. The mother is woken suddenly. It's the father. He's talking about something on the radar headed for the refugee camp. She rubs her eyes confused. I have to go, says the father. I have to get them out. She doesn't understand. She pleads for him not to leave again. Still not sure what exactly is happening. She suggests that it's just a scout, or an error, or something else unimportant. No, the father says, and his voice frightens her. Look at the radar. The mother looks and her heart drops. The signal is enormous, the largest she's ever seen, and it is headed directly for the rebel camp off of the radar's edge. That's, she begins, but her voice falters. Yes, says the father, the dark monument. 
Last time it was deployed, it laid waste to everything from Eternic to the Aquavi Islands. The death toll was in the millions. Fire fell from the sky for weeks after, and to this day, nothing grows there. Hidden forest camps, underground bases, networks under towns, it doesn't matter. No nobody is safe from this thing. Sending it there could only mean... He doesn't finish. He doesn't need to. I'll join you, the mother says. I was an engineer in the military. I can help. You were until they discharged you for your condition. He takes hold of her shoulders and looks her in the eyes. The moonlight from outside dims and the room goes dark. I need you to stay here. Protect our daughter. The gray soldiers will easily detect her potential. They'll take her away from us. We can't let our daughter become another weapon for them. The mother feels as though she is in a nightmare. Can't, can't you contact the Ethos Coalition for help? The Coalition's resistance ships won't make it in time. I can outrun that abomination. I smuggled them into the camp in the first place, so it's up to me to get them out. I'm their only hope. His hands slide down her arms and take hold of her fingers. She's trembling. I was the same as them. A refugee on the run, remember? And then you rescued me. I have to return the favor. It's the good thing to do. Reluctantly, she nods. He kisses her and rushes out into the night with his things. The house is cold and dark once more, and the mother and daughter are left alone. A year has passed. The father has not returned, and the daughter has just turned six. The mother's lost contact with the Ethos Coalition months ago. However, every night she waits. Every night she turns on the radar, sits in the chair, and stares at the night sky. Tonight, her daughter is with her, and together they watch, wondering if the moon is going to reappear. The silence is broken by the daughter. Mama, are you going to listen to the radar all night again? The mother doesn't answer. Daddy said it's bad for your heart to stay up. The mother looks down at her daughter, smiles, turns off the radar, holds her for a while, and puts her to bed. She promises that she will sleep on time, then closes the door. The mother goes back to the radar and turns it on. She listens with her head in her arms. She listens until sleep takes her. A loud voice screeches. Attention, attention. This area is under martial law by order of the Grey City. Surrender all ether users immediately or face execution. She changes through channels, but it's everywhere. She presses her hands against her ears, but the voice fills her mind. Then she looks at the radar, and she sees it. It's already over the forest. The cursed ship is here. But why? No, she doesn't have time to think. They have to escape. The mother rushes upstairs, wakes her daughter, and dresses her. The daughter only has time to grab her bunny doll before a banging sound echoes from the ground floor. The sounds of splintering wood terrify them both. They run toward the outside balcony. Quickly, my friends, follow me this way. Or <laughs> 
the sound effect gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Things have gone to hell. It's burning! Yes. I'm getting into this quite a bit. <laughs> oh, Hi. Something's this happening. Is the terrifying. Hello, I saw a million people came out of, come out of the house, too. Everything is on fire. Oh, let's get down. The house is burning. Okay, it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> Um, oh, I jumped and stuck better. in the burning building. It gets better. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's really cool. It is. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's very beginning off my thoughts first. This is my first one. one. That's my little way. Yeah. My friends. <laughs> the story <laughs> continues. Who are they? Cries the girl. Mama, I'm scared. The mother holds her daughter tight and jumps from the balcony. She hits the ground hard, landing on her side. A sharp pain shoots through her now broken rib, but her daughter is safe, and that's all that matters. She stands and looks around. The forest. All of it's on fire. They must be trying to prevent them from hiding. She looks around and she sees a small area where the fire hasn't reached yet. It's the only way. My friends, this way. Like, uh, my chest hurts. I'm getting really, really into <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that a boo, baby? Those flames are hot. Oh, watch out for the guard. Blue baby. Oh, she has them. I think. Blue baby. Blue baby. Oh, dear. Ooh, Actually, baby. Like she knows the like it looks like they would line somebody up against somebody. Yeah, yeah, because... Shoot them. <laughs> I'd like to stop here because the edge is too fall. The edge is too steep and people will fall. Sorry for the change, friends. It's all good. That's right. I thought you were going to go all the way over there, mate. Apologies, friends. Normally I stop over there, but we'll be stopping here from now on to prevent people that are newcomers from falling off. The story continues. Okay. She struggles to run. Her daughter is heavy. She glances over her shoulder. Dark figures are circling the house, peering through the clouds of smoke. Then the mother looks up, and she sees it. A horrifying shape eclipses the moon. Its silhouette drops a blanket of slow-moving shadow, smothering the land below in darkness. And it's creeping unstoppably toward them. She places her daughter on her feet and kneels to look her in the eyes. Mama is going to run, and you must run too. She barely manages to get her words out. You must not let go of my hand. Do you understand? Do not let go. Is that a monster? The daughter stammers with eyes welling up. No, don't look at it, the mother cries. Take my hand and don't let go. One of the soldiers yells in the distance. The mother grips her daughter's hand tight and they run. The mother's heart is racing. The fire is unbearably hot and the smoke scrapes in her throat. My friends, the mother and daughter have been spotted and are now being pursued by the Dark Monument. Together, they must find a way through the burning forest, and so must all of you. This is your first quest. Click the yellow save point this way and run as fast as you can for their lives. <laughs> Right, here we go. There you go, there's a sign if the y'all need help. There you go. Ah, yeah, it's the hard part. It's only oh, there's a fast run. travel. I didn't even realize. It's like right there. Oh, it's one of those. Interesting. God, the screen pandemics.
I'm not proud to admit this, but you know, I just kept crying and it kept on working. changing that color. So, fun fact, it used to be, like, the, the vision, the vision system used to be red, so you couldn't tell the color how far they see. It's not, it's not even that it's easy. So, like, uh, the guard's vision, it used to be red. Because now you can see yeah. where Yes, it's so much better. I'll tell you this. It took a while to figure out. on top of red in all the red. Let's give that hug. Let's give Nick like, uh... Like, that is, yeah. oh, that sounds just so awful. You, you, you hug on top of red on top of the nose, right? You can't tell, like, red from red. It was, like, the same color. That's a good question. Someone was judging me about that. Yeah, but it's all now. Don't happen. judge everything off my hearing. Uh, Intentional to forget about, about it. Head. Stuff like that. There's a difference between difficulty and BS. Which is, which is, which is yeah. what's up with your head? It's not connected to your body. Oh, properly. which is your neck? Your neck is <sighs> like that. Yeah. What's up with your neck? I think it's because of this. Oh, oh, Shane, I think that was our fastest run yet. Yeah, it's definitely coming. Which is your favorite run. Speed run. I think so. Speed run. Yes. So that happened with Sosa and Carlos. We kind of have to explain. Where's <laughs> what do you mean his clothes burned up? Oh no! no. Your clothes burned up! Time for swim! Leon, your clothes! Awesome. I see what you mean by you were gonna do something. Your mic. Sheen, did you see? Leon's clothes, they burned off in the flames. Yes! That's in flame proof clothes. Damn shirt. Are we not sure. I'm glad he's okay. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, I don't have my I shoes either. Those are my favorite shoes. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to go to a city soon. You'll be able to get more clothes there. You may even find something you like better. What the? That was the first run. I think the Luna just won. What the fuck? You ever seen a shirtless wolf before? Come on. Nice come go. No, honestly, most of the shirt uh, wolf I've seen a shirtless actually. So normally wear shirts. No, first. You're not wrong. I guess you can say there's a first time for it. I did, I did, I just called yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. Nice, like, the cold yeah, 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 yeah
You're fine. I know, it's supposed to be everyone's friend group in the group, in the head spa. Be very. Oh, yeah. you, what day are you free to work on the homework girl? Because I'm not sure I'm excited about a day to work on that. Haha, I'm here. Yep. Ah, shit. I feel like... Apologies, friends. Just a few more minutes. I actually, like, give this stuff in order to go to. I mean, technically, I've got medium. I've got albedo here. You can be. It's not that bad. Leave. Luna's dancing for real. I didn't do anything with the express. No. I know. No, I didn't add the particles. Darn. What is it? I thought you were shy about dancing. Oh, no, no. Um, I am. I just saw oh, that, that one just. <laughs> Such a shot. Hold on. How do you feel now? <laughs> no, you know. Jake. Same. Same. That's a pretty good representation of my life. <laughs> Same. Make the legs snap. Yeah, this is a... Yo. Same. No, I didn't. Eating cereal in the first my time friends. for two years, that must be like a great feeling. My friends, gather around. My friends, Hello, apologies for interrupting. My friends. I beg your forgiveness. Please gather around. <sighs> ah, coffee, you made it. My fr yes. friends, first of all, I'll I'd like know. to commend you. This group has made it through the fire forest in record time despite its size. All of you, well done. Yay, we're awesome. Well, you did change your color of the car. Don't hear you killing. It's too light, I'm too dead. But we did it. Yo, it's short. My friends. The mother and daughter have made it somehow. Please, walk this way. Walk this way. Bye, Aerosmith. What's in here, I wonder? Walk this way. I like how we all thought of the exact same song. <laughs> I think that happened last time, too. Wow. Yes, my favorite part of the tour. Hell yeah. Walk in this direction. Yeah, here we go. Right, Sonic? Fuck yeah, camping trip. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Water <laughs> out of. <laughs> oh, fresh water. <laughs> My friends. I'm, the I'm story continues. <laughs> the mother and daughter stagger into a secluded clearing. <laughs> Nearby is a tent, an old campfire, and a pond. Raindrops pat against the canvas, the leaves of the trees. <laughs> and the water's surface. The ground squelches beneath every footstep. The rain is cold, but the chills soothe the mother's burns. They won't have to worry about the fire spreading this far. Inside the tent, the mother speaks words of comfort to her wailing child, cradling her in her arms. The traumatized girl grips her bunny and buries her face into the mother. Bra the rain masks her tears, and she soon sleeps. The mother, however, does not, and keeps watch all through the stormy night. When the last of the daughter's sniffles subside, she begins to dream of a faraway place, a dark place. She descends into a nightmare. My friends, please use the blue save point. What is this? 
We don't know what the uh, fuck is this. Okay, I burned my clothes during the fire. It wasn't here. Oh. oh, there it opened. There you go. Your abs are weak. They're weak sauce. Ooh. Oh, you're the chair. 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 Honestly, you got more muscle. Honestly, you have more muscle. I'm living in your walls. I'm living in your walls. It's teeth cluster But then again, I'm an android and don't have muscles, so... I'm living in your walls. Is that a toxic one? Confines. My friend. Tonight's NPCs, please come forward, stand next to me, and change into your searchlight avatar in front of the group. Can everyone see Yulyush and Luna standing next to me? Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Yes. Yep. Uh, Please we... make sure you have their avatars what? enabled. NPCs, turn on your searchlights and take your place in the nightmare. Right. My friends, a figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick, the floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with the shadowy haze. Well, what's Where am I? Who am I? The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was searching for something, perhaps? There are voices audible in the distance. Echoing and distorted. It doesn't sound human, and it's drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They have to move. Whatever those voices are coming from, it feels malicious. The figure in this nightmare must find what they are searching for, and so must all of you, as this is your next quest. Listen carefully, travelers. Search for a way through the darkness to the exit and avoid the monsters at all costs. Getting caught in their cone of light will fracture the girl's hope. If you are caught, everyone will hear thunder crash. Keep moving and do not stop. Through the dark, she dreams of you and your quest begins now. Go. Onward. No time to waste. <laughs> Freaking. Where are you? Take no, your I've... time. <laughs> this way. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Come on, this way, this way, this way. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Come on. Roger follow me, that. follow me. Go. Here we go, here we go. Turn right. Right here. Much yeah. as I'd like to stay alive. Yeah, hey, I made it. First try. <laughs> oh, Something is. No. I can't. Oh, you know, oh, that's a lot of thunder. Really, uh, Look, when it concerns a little girl, I am oh, going to go through okay. hell and high water. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, I I'm a lot, lot. Lot. <laughs> to be honest. What a predicament. Yeah, the funny thing, I think it's Ejer. Uh, you'd have to ask Shane what his last name's pronunciation is in Chinese. 
Did you just Can do you he said, He's mentioned it before. I know he has. Without getting spotted at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, he spelled out because he, he was funny, funny, funny that you call him Sheena Easy. I, 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 I know. I know. Oh, there would be like actual. Um... <laughs> there are like fake walls throughout the maze. One person is that high. That was like one. You did some dark souls. Avoided any of the life. Yeah, yeah. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. I don't want to be able to make all I think if we have one thundercrack with like 50 people, we're fine. Did any of our group get, um, did any of our group get like, Oh, 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 and since we have like 50 people and we only heard one, there were probably two. They, they were there last time, but they made the entire maze. They made it brighter. herself up screaming in the dark of night her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother quickly she comes to comfort her terrified child the daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters but she struggles to speak through her trembling the mother rocks her in her arms telling her it was just a nightmare not to worry the daughter tries to go on about how the person in her nightmare was searching for something, but her voice is shaking too much. The mother interrupts, telling her it was not real. She's safe now, and they both need to get ready for the day's travels. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun shining like a golden orb between the parting storm clouds. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a place rebel supplies move through. She should be able to find something on the location of the Ethos Coalition. The mother checks the sky. Clear for now. 
my friends, this way. I think I know what happened. But, uh, but... Oh boy. The lightning went off so much. Oh, I'm going to be a taller avatar. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Did we yeah, decide what yeah, we're gonna yeah, do for this part? This section, like the, as yes. a majority. Are we gonna do the yes. Thing? Get books. Right. Uh, who's trying? Okay, we're gonna yeah, 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 yeah. I found something <laughs> on the wall. I don't know if it. Almost. There's like Not a. Quite. I'm gonna try speedrunning and getting how many points. I think we can all be doing the same kids. Trying to talk to you. I think we're gonna try to be funny. There we go. You may think that I'm actually talking. Oh, we're used to this kind of the rat. The rat scar is like through a loop after the story. The story. Exactly. You can understand. Might have coughed up a little bit of blood, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna sit here a second. The tour guide is speaking of shade. Is a small, busy, unfriendly place. The people here don't smile or greet each other as they pass. The mother and daughter feel unwelcome in such a place. The mother doesn't know who to trust or who is loyal to the Grey City here. First, she needs to find a safe place for them to get some proper rest. The mother books a room which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky then tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore the town of Shade. Scattered around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, <laughs> please back. click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory once you do. You have five minutes to search. Please return here in front of the indoor before the time is up. And please do not be late. The sky is clear for now. And so your quest. Okay, gentlemen, we're going go. for the books. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, I have a oh, there's surely got to be something in here. Oh, look at this. Alright. For the books. What do I call? But This. I believe this time we're going for the book. There's like secret areas. We only do that, at least. Oh, uh, let us know. So, is there like, is, like how much stuff are we stuff? supposed to grab? Just a lot, or? Uh, you can, just as much as you want. Like, Minecraft in, server. In Minecraft we do, but like there's a few things. 
something on the wall, so... Oh. It's Zeta Saul on top of the wall here. That is a very good code. Hello, Pebble. Hello. Well, I'm not Pebble, but, you know. Oh, something's right there. Good luck, Charm. Can you grab this? No, oh, I can't. Collision, collision. I'm doing worse than you. Uh, that is a dream. I it is a dragon. Oh, that's not a dream. Hmm. Okay, Falcon, how are we doing? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, plenty of things. Uh, <laughs> 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 Nothing really. I'm just not looking in the right spot. Oh my god. That's an info. That's useful. Where am I missing? What am I missing? I know it's up there. Are we allowed um, to go in there's there? There's nothing yeah. in there. There's nothing in what there. What are we going for? The books or the coalition info? I think we can, we can do the books. Okay. Oh, let's move on to them. Should I just. Well, they did a little over five. Legend of Lost Map. Well, there's also pages. There's yeah, pages. Yeah, the coalition. Hammer's last word. So cool. Uh, and Hammer's last word. I almost want to say we can do it. I got like. And I said do Hammer's last word. Alright, haven't we already read? Let's see the way. That's it for my search. I gotta head back in. I think it's uh, For me, it's B. It's okay. 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 It's okay.
I've heard lots of great comments. You're making progress. My friends, time has expired. Please gather around. Well done. Hopefully, you all found need. The innkeeper tells the mother, the room is ready. This way, my friends. Let's go. I hunger. I opened the wrong way. <laughs> no, as long as I'm here, I'm fast up, gremlins. <sighs> you gonna take not. charge again, Luna? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Autumn. Mm -hmm. I was about to say what? <laughs> the door. <laughs> that was a beautiful job last time. Just saying. I had a good time. My knees are It's a mother and a daughter. Today, And so. We're not sleeping here. And so. The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside once again, casting the small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag. But she isn't sure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. Press the tab key to view your inventory. If you're in VR, hold your right hand above eye level and press the menu or jump button. Everyone, you have five minutes to discuss and decide as a group which three items the daughter will carry for her mother. Your time yeah. begins now. All right. All right, everyone, listen up. It's my first fucking rodeo. You know what the drill is. Everyone, okay. listen up, and we'll talk together and talk it out as a group because we are all friends. Oh no, my my UI is not working. Okay, so start. Did you get the menu? Everyone, listen together. I know, but we're gonna put that to everyone else so everyone knows. All right. So everyone, let's just figure this out together. We know kind of what works. You know, kind of. But it doesn't work. Okay. This time around, we're trying to go for the lore books. I did. I'm going to keep doing every single time. Wait, how do I get out of it? It's great communication anyway. Just throw it so, it's, just, it's a good idea to leave, leave us without this time around. Well, okay, yes, but we are also trying to figure out the lore right now because the Minecraft server is changing stuff soon, and there's some books that are related to that, so we want to figure out the lore. Shields, we don't need this. I'm curious. Minecraft server. So, we're going for a lot um, everyone, 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 gentlemen, everyone, gentlemen, ladies, start everyone, talking. Everyone, you do. Robots, everyone. humans, oh, creatures. All I'm right. an android. This time around, okay. we're going to go for the lore books <laughs> because they are very important in learning what's going to be coming up soon. Like, yes. specify which books they are. Can yes, I so that's going to be, be the Legend of Blossom stuff? Island, correct? Uh-huh. The, um, oh, what was it, the Red, <laughs> the red Fangs Treasure they Maps, is that correct, Cell? Yeah. We'll try to, I, I think mean, we'll probably try to that one. But and then I was and then what was that the books? Why did you find Promise? Promise? Oh, that was that like really tight to the Minecraft server. And then That's what I forgot. There's a t yeah, no, there's a jacket. We should have one right here. Okay, no baby that using anything. I don't know. So the reason why we're doing this section is because we're trying to learn the lore behind the books. We know about them right now. The great whatever the fuck action is. We're just trying to learn the lore and then we're going to try to find better ways to find out the next time for us to serve anyway. Can you just say what we're trying to do right now? Yeah, great. Time hey, exactly. 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 Exactly.
Exactly. Never mind. I won't spoil anything. Yeah, I know. I have the. I have the don't know the power promise. You know where, but the legend of Blossom Island. Yes. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be doing this. Okay. Do you know which one would be? Um, it's going to be let's see, the Legend of Blossom Island, Palace of Promise, um, the treasure map. So I don't know if you've been and the treasure map. The treasure map was the other one. And that's what we want to try and do. I think that was Palace of Promise, treasure map, and yes, and then and then Legend of Blossom Island. Learn about that one. We came here for books. Yes. We came here for books. I don't think I've heard. You hear me? So, uh, yeah. Which is okay, we, we're like a collective. Gentlemen, we came here for books. Hello. We came here for books. Legend of Blossom Island. Legend of Blossom Island. I didn't even know what the books is about. What's your map? We'll figure it out. You know what? Oh, Let's do books! We're trying to learn what the books are about. That's what the point of getting the yeah. books is. Yeah. Good lord, it's crowded. I'm going back to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom. Ah, yes, mother. I came back with all these books and documents. What is that supposed to mean, challenge you? What? What was that? What did you say, Alizu? Um, it's something about... It's pictures, I think. It's got a name. We're trying to figure out what the books do in the uh, in the section of coming, so we might as well grab all the books and just grab them and and see what they're doing. And plus, we can order them later. Ah, oh, crap! I gotta get ready to jump on the Minecraft server the moment I order that. Yeah, I'll be there. Just everyone directly after the tour. Someone orders it. Red Fang treasure map. What are we doing? How do I pick items? You can check your items by holding at eye level, and apparently the jump button. For me, it's no, the to the green. the menu no, for me. He 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 really yeah. <laughs> it's not the right now, so that way we can get into the We're trying to go for the books this time, okay? We're trying to go for the books. We've been listing them the whole time. Palace Promise. We're trying to go for the books. We've been listing them the whole time. Palace Promise. Legend of Blossom Island. Treasure map. The Red Hawk Treasure map. Oh, that's expired. My friends. I agree with those three. Oh, yeah, Hammer for it. Apologies. Time has expired. Well then. The three items you have chosen. I will ask. Equalization. F37C. Please, tell me one item. The daughter will carry for her mother. I choose the pilot's promise. The book, the, the pilot's promise. I see. R E M, please tell me one item. The daughter will carry for the mother. Aaron? Sorry, I just realized I was muted that whole time. Uh, the Legend of Blossom Island. <laughs> the Legend of Blossom Island. A book. I see. Allow me to move a bit so I can see. Ah. Jolly Swiss. Jolly, tell me. What is the final item the daughter will carry for her mother? Oh. 
the Red Fang treasure map? The Red Fang treasure map. I see. Very well. The story continues. <sighs> got them. Got them all. Got to get them all. Hey. Was that was that everything we were supposed to do? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so everything we were talking for. Okay. Oh, thank God. That's everything for today, gentlemen. I'm glad I was, glad I was a bit because I forgot. I thought they were going to do it once a week because we only pulled out a book once a week, but it's not the end of the My tour. Mm. Good job. Please make sure your world music is turned on. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding, but she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds, painting the buildings with soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where Daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep, so you can walk with me there tomorrow. You need to sleep, too. The little girl touches her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. The feeling comforts her. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother breaks into a heartwarming smile. You already are, my angel. Daddy says, you're a good luck charm. As though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? She looks at the ceiling, but there's nobody there. The mother laughs. Mm-hmm. The daughter squeezes her Bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a six-year-old. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart, too? She puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. And her answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods and snuggles up close. She falls asleep within minutes. The mother wipes tears from her own eyes and looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep. For what is good never last. Please, everyone, use the blue save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Blacksmith. Mm. Oh, no, no, yo, Troll King. He yeah, looks so much better now. Troll King, yeah, can I ask you something? Hey, wait up, wait up. Can I ask you something? Can you be like over here running? and just watching and just like. <laughs> and like just oh gosh, you got it. Just <laughs> speaking that way. I'm gonna do those Minecraft speedruns they've been talking about, huh? Oh, exactly. Okay, so you dream? Are you speedrunning? Yeah. Watch me speedrun. Two nights in PCs. Please come forward and down. take your place in the nightmare. Yo. How do we get moving skybox? <laughs> Spooky Luna. No fucking way. Oh god. <laughs> the same goddamn thing. Careful here, shaders. Oh. Mm. 
maybe don't Sorry. Oh. fire all over the screen. <laughs> well done, NPCs. Your avatars are now changed. Please take your Demon place. Demon generals in, in our dreams. <laughs> Everyone, come on, down to get on there. Everyone, please clap. Everyone, please clap. Everyone, please clap. so much clap for that. Are you getting off for the night? For those of you wondering, I heard someone say that they're running out of time. The tour doesn't have too much longer to go. Don't worry, the best is yet to come. Once more, the unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. Perhaps this place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. Yes. This isn't the first time this person has ended up in... Here. What am I looking for? What must I find? Yes. They have to keep searching. The person is suddenly aware of something behind them. Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow, and they're filled with a sense of dread. Something is coming. Something is falling. They stand tall, determined. They will conquer this void. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. Find a way to the end, and this time there are no monsters to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters block the exit. Gather around the dream eaters and answer their question together as a group. Good luck. Go. All right. Friends, guys, everyone, before you go. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Wait, wait, I've just, I have changed trophy. my mind. I must find oh, that. Uh-oh. No, I'm not here. Is there any specific reason why? You must find. I will get there before the tidal wave, tidal wave crashes. The tidal wave? The tidal wave of what? And the most important, their heart will keep beating. Mm. What makes you think this is the one, though? Like, I'm curious. It's literally their heart will mm -hmm. keep beating. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hey, too easy, too easy, too easy. Very cool, very cool. I gotta cool. take my mat. Look at these jokes. Yo, we came back from the <laughs> dead. He fell into the void and came back. Hey, you all have a good one. He is a demon. I wish to do it little now. We have our own demon. Lucian Falcon, you know what to do. I actually like You know what to do. Everyone get back on top. Did not know I still had that going. I was the one who started a second time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. How is this work? Let's go, let's go. Oh, is that how you get out of here? Uh, lots of luck and, and skill. <laughs> it looks like play safe never. Oh, man. Oh, are we doing that again? Wait, Ram, what's your Are we doing this tower again? <laughs> yes, but of course. Damn, we are. Damn right, we are. I feel like this happened last time. I kind of prefer to figure it out myself, to be honest. Knock them over, do you think that's a proper demon? It's like that zombie movie. We got it. It's like this. This is like the two nights we're in. Oh, it's just me and Sid's question. Red and the question. Flame some more. Or a flying avatar, either. Join us. Jeopardy, yeah. We're playing Jeopardy, right? Yeah, we are advanced setting.
Join us. Do you want to play Roblox? Guys, guys, it's the human Jenga. Fuck me. Fuck me. Join us. Jenga is one of us. Oh my god. What the hell? Baby. Here, someone punch me. Do you think they're like the gods at Buckingham Palace? Like, do we have to make a mob? It's fine. Thank you. It's the Tower of Babel. I don't need Buck. Tower of what? Google Gaga? I mean, yeah, the gods at Buckingham Palace are fucking dumb. What? Look at these chats. Somebody... Somebody needs to ask them what their question is in the voice of the dude from, um... Uh, fuck. The, uh, Monster Python search for Holy Grail. Can Someone just ask if we can go by. What? What's your name? 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 You should ask them in key voice. You should ask them in key voice. Do you like nice guys? Yes. Nick, I'm nice to say you. Okay, we got you. I got you. We are the last two shades. Me? We beg your silence. Friends, listen intently to the dream eaters. They will speak. Clear to the eyes, see through even, yet an unpleasant surprise should you come in contact with me. My houses, you cannot enter. Steel strength pales in comparison with me. Alas, I am soft to touch. I might be a tool, but even on news, I waste away all the same. What? What? M. M. I. I. A riddle. A mind? Oh. A weapon? <laughs> no, it's a riddle. Um, Me! We're not, I didn't know mines were strong. We're not gonna get... Here. That's it. We're not gonna do it. I didn't catch all that. That was a lot of money. Guys, you ain't your mind. Too much synergy. Guys, please answer the weapon. I'm thinking there's no one to make fun of. I know what it is. It's Avi and it's Bab. Is it? Turn your ass down. Feelings, though. I think, yeah, I think feelings is pretty good. Feelings? Actually. Emotion. Does sense. It does make sense. That makes sense. I don't think it's going to be emotions. We are the Night Crusade. And our answer. <laughs> no, no, we're not answering that. Could you repeat, repeat the riddle? Yes, please repeat it in its entirety. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna repeat the riddle. feelings? What do you? Uh, I'd say feelings. Ah! Clever to the eyes, see through even. Yet an unpleasant surprise, should you come in contact with me. My houses, you cannot enter. Steel strength pales in comparison with me. Alas, I am soft to touch. I might be a tool. But even unused, I waste away, all the same. Feeling heart, doesn't it? Whoa. Mm. What? The, the part. Um, feeling to I. soft to I. the touch. The, like the part is about a heart. Oh, no. being it's on it's on the what about a heart? gentleman. It's a heart. Oh, it's not a knight of me. That's what I thought. We it would make sense. Wait, what's the like the sub the subject we of everything? Is it really like it's a heart? I don't know. I don't know. Sonic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's still <laughs> fun. Yeah. I don't. Just because the heart's like the theme, I don't think that's the right answer at all. Brain, maybe. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking yes. of. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh shit, we lost one of them. No, 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 we lost them. It's a bit unfair with so many people. They vanished into the void. They weren't even given the prompt to answer. Well, we tried. Tried. It did make sense. It's hard to find the answer. It did not make sense. It did not make sense. It did not make sense. I'm quiet. I saw a first thing she was trying to talk. Good for you. I think in the library, but that's all I can think about. You cannot enter my house, but even though I'm a tool. God. Yeah, can be used yes, you can start another really team, know. and thank you. Oh, it can't. Yeah. My friends, yeah, the story if you know how to us. utilize them. But a hard oh, little thing. Oh, you hard. every time, that's fun. The unknown figure passes between the strange nightmare manifestations. And they enter a new space. There isn't much of a visual shift, but... 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 There's someone standing oh, in the mud corner. Oh, here we go, boys. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. They're not oh, supposed oh. to be here. And that's the first apparition. It's not possible. Hmm. Wait, what the fuck? <clears throat> it is colossal. Oh. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing. As the person perceives more and more of it, its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits, motionless, expectant. Wait, what? What? That's not what I was expecting. Is it the man? Huh? That's weird. That's a very friends, different description, please isn't the it, blue lads? Save point. <laughs> well, what a mud that is. I don't see how we can use our advantage. What the fuck just happened? Yeah, yeah I think he's I there. Don't perhaps that's the man in the corner. Perhaps that's his true form. Evolution, what just what was that? Did he just. Have you been on the dream side yet? I have. I go there every time. You weren't there. Okay, those were the first lines of that, of like the final nightmare. Spoiler alert. Uh, the fuck? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's mm, just what? random glitchy shit the man in the corner did. It's don't worry about it. Huh. Yeah, I, feel, I figured, but like... Maybe I wasn't too observant, because I didn't see it. It's me, 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 there's been this thing where, like, never can stop, and there's, like, this weird, you know, like, what just happened, and the last time, it was, like, a decision to make it in the corner. I should have chosen someone that had less of a thick accent. I should have chosen someone that had less of a thick accent. Called the man in the corner. To read off the fucking riddle. I think they just needed to be better. Oh, it's whoever volunteered. Yeah. It's a traveler from the other timeline. Oh, yeah. So it's an ARG, huh? If that has some... Yeah, Looney was too quiet, and the guy had too thick of an accent. He couldn't have something to do with him. Oh, oh, fucking hard. What the what kind of hard is a tool? I don't know what the fuck they're on about, to be honest. Hard. It was unused. My friends, the story pretty well continues. <laughs> the girl is jolted awake by a loud bang that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go get dressed. We have to go now. The little girl tries to explain to her mother about the, her nightmare, about how she now knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented, it hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed, pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight outside the town. Don't look at it! The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama is going to protect you, but we have to leave now. <laughs> the world comes down around them. Everyone this way. So now that's hanging...
the one place mm -hmm. that has a ceiling. Oh. Kool Aid Dimension. Kool Aid Dimension. Follow the cube. Follow the hyper cube. Follow the cube man. It's that fucking Lead us to picture Great. with a FedEx vehicle. That's right. 3D representation of the cube. Oh yeah, hey. Uh, the living manifestation uh, of the ether. <laughs> the loon. Mm. Oh okay. Ah, Gundam. Oh, 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 oh. Gundam. Another Gundam. Oh, here we go. The Gundam style. Stabby. Here we go. Oh, 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 Bang! I see. Bang! I have the high ground. Bang! 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 Motorbike. Oh, maybe it's the dark monument. Was like the thing being oh. the one that I'm trying. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna put, gonna tell you tell you in. Nothing to do with the man in the corner. The man, the dark monument. This is this this goes beyond the tours. Yeah, that's true. So let's see if we cannot botch this. I got this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh whoops. I'm gonna go ahead there here. for a minute. I got him. Grab a drink. Sorry. Okay, kiddos. Almost oh, yeah. so much better than that. I'll be right back. I also yeah. have to. Oh, yeah. so I good got luck. it. I Don't love touch the music. Back. Yeah. It's good for you, Ray. Up there. Yeah, nice, nice wind up here. Frank, Frank, Frank. Don't worry about it. Frank, Frank. Sorry, I've got bad gas. The story continues. Is this allowed? Listen carefully. Your life depends on it. My friends gather around. With daughter in tow, the mother makes her way to the town exit opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt. A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. The mother states they were already scanned and have no potential. She slowly backs away. I said halt. The soldier orders. He then presses a button on his visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes on the ground, the soldier reaches for his comm device, preparing to notify command of his discovery. All of you must choose what the mother will do. You have three choices. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. And 30 mother's seconds instinct. to decide. Attack. We start. Attack. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. He doesn't want to so I would say I would say attack. It's a trick, man. It's a trick. Don't be mother's instinct, bro. Attack. Everyone just attack. You get picked. 
Toby 5D 3E. What will the mother do? Uh, we vote attack. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah, dude. I see. The mother is going to die. <laughs> she rushes she the soldier from the side. He notices her footsteps and twists to grab her in time, dropping the comm device. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. Mm -hmm. The mother was knocked to the ground, but quickly gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her midsection. What will attack, defend, or mother's instinct? 30 seconds. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, I'm saying defend, dude. What, you, got mother, you got a mother's instinct, a, a bullet? <laughs> no, mother's, you guys know what mother's instinct is? Mother's instinct is literally the way to go for the entire time, because this is only mother's instinct to protect the child. Mother's instinct is whatever she thinks is right. And it usually goes wrong. She don't know We tried it, but that's right. sounds like her sense is mother's instinct. I think I want no. I want to do. Let's do. Let's do. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Like we have a good chance. Mind of Monday. Oh, oh, well. We know what's gonna happen. Aw, that's a shame. Oh, yeah. Well, I Same. Had a long day. Uh, Same. Uh, also, I think last time I like got what? too. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm just stretching. Five, four, three, so. two, one. Uh, you are out of time. H T D U Y. What will the mother do? I would go for mother instincts. Oh. I see. She moves back toward the wall as he follows. She glares at him and dashes to his side. He swings blindly only to find his blade stopped by the wall. Sparks fly and she takes the opportunity to rush and grapple the gun blade handle, wrestling it free from the soldier. Before she can position herself to swing it, he hooks her hard in the stomach and drops the weapon. The angry soldier grabs her left arm and twists it into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt, but he then brings his elbow down hard, breaking her other arm at the wrist. The soldier looks at the grenade in her hand, and a flash of fear goes before his eyes. The mother uses this distraction to knee him hard in the gut before moving away. The daughter, witnessing all of this, screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the daughter and demands the mother drop the grenade, or she dies. The daughter shouts, Leave us alone, just as a green aura erupts around her. My friends, attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Green. 30 uh, seconds. Mother's yeah, we don't we don't exactly know how it, how it works. What this guy sound about? Feels like a dice roll with asking random people right now though. What did Coffee say? Prime the child for detonation. This is my first time here, so I have no idea what the fuck happened. Yeah, it's fair. But last time the child, um, her aura of like, uh, like around her was, I believe, blue or red last time. I know the, the first time I went was like red, then it was blue, and then this time it's green. So we don't exactly know why it's changing. Like a mass effect though. Well, because red means anger in this in this universe. Blue means grief or like despair. Uh, grief, like sadness, and then very green nice is fear. Looking. Very nice looking. Green is in terms yeah. of the emotion yeah. ethos. Yeah. 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 I mean, is it because of the? Is it because of, the, is it because of like how many people got caught on the on the nightmare? We don't. We don't know. Very nice. See, that's the uh, thing. We don't. We have no idea. Oh yeah. Oh no! I was just listening. I'm sorry. No. Uh, you have time hand has up expired. Like you wanted. Oh, I'm I'm just sitting out on my armrest. Wait, is there someone here? Sorry, that's time. That's time. If it is. Dust Bunny, oh, oh. what has the group decided the mother will do? Mother's instinct. Mother's instinct. I see. She meets her daughter's eyes and shouts, "Save us!" The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura explodes into a torrent of green flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him through his body and sending him flying through a wall. Severely injured, but still alive, the soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech. No. Climbing up into the open cockpit, no? just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. Oh. Is this the same shit? Are we doing the same Nearly thing? Dead. Yes. Oh, that last the ground no, shakes, but not because of the grenade going off. A shadow sweeps across everything. Mm. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates dropping bolts of blazing fire in every direction. 
The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the motorcycle from before back into an upright position. There are a few bullet holes in the frame, but it's still running. She calls to her daughter to get on. But the girl stands unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up on the seat with her. She still has one strong leg and arm. The adrenaline masks the pain for now. We're going to be okay, she tells the daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together, they speed away from the inferno that was the town of Shade. My friends, this way. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Broken it's wrist, you can't over. operate or lift a motorcycle. Yeah, that's a cow, dude. Did they make it quiet? Make you sure it's loud. So, plum. Is that is this like a motorcycle? Is that a motorcycle? Let's stop here, friends. That's why I named my cat Harley. Hold up. Perfect, like a motorcycle. You forgot about the broken rib. Welcome to my little hill. Yeah, the broken rib, and then you have the wrist. You can't operate the handles. They're not just for show. She was also shot in the leg, and her jaw fractured, yeah. don't forget. So my rib was broken Michael. from the fall in the balcony. I'm broken. Fuck it up. What a girl was. How is this motorcycle? She's just a motorcycle. 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 She's just a motorcycle.
I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there. It's more safe than here, Mama. Let's go to sleep and forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, and this poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing herself. No, she has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands up and takes her daughter's hand back. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. Sorry, Lord Corp. I didn't see you earlier. Uh, I had to unmute and mute. Oh, someone. we're fine. It's a bug. Yeah. Oh, that just. Yeah. Oh, that oh boy. Every time, this always gets me. It's oh, so intimidating. Oh it's so intimidating. How does she sneak through here? That'd be a lot of turn-based combat, huh? I'm getting flashbacks. Too Yuri. many mechas. You know what for. <laughs> so many gears. Mm, ah, yes. Yes, where is the control V. They sneak through the building carefully, avoiding the, the patrols. They stop and remain silent. Two soldiers approach one another. The soldiers stop to talk, and the mother listens carefully. Hey, I'm sure you've heard, but Shade's been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. It doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in this region and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of its unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah. Rumor has it. There is an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. What? That's impossible. I thought you can only fit those on big warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Hmm. Well, whatever it is, I heard they can't get the mech to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Say... You want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. The mother concludes that the mech they spoke of is their only chance to leave this region she looks at her daughter. The girl has been silent, staring vacantly at the walls since they arrived. She wants to check if she's all right, but they need to move. This way. Yeah. Hello? What did you leave? Oh, oh I'm, getting I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. Doesn't matter. Go further. Let's find out. Wait. What do you mean that you hear me? I heard you when you left. Oh, That's I all I heard. Backflash. Let's try that. Word. I love how they like it's back creepy, back. but it looks better than all the other. Backflash. Just, <laughs> back 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 just not talking. Backslash. Excellent. One paragraph. One paragraph. I couldn't hear you. you I said I heard you when you left. Uh, well, since we haven't been out here. My friends, the story continues. There it stands alone. The air is thick around it, drowning out sound and 
somehow the glare of the night lights. This is our only chance, the mother thinks to herself. This is the only way out. I have to get us out of here, even if... It's warm to the touch. The cockpit eerily and silently opens. Not wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her, her eye level and whispers in frustration. They need to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away from her and the mech. She speaks with a quivering voice. No, that's not the right way. We need to wait here for the pilot. What? The mother is confused and tries to reach for her daughter. We have to go now. No. It's the pilot in the dream, Mama. The pilot is going to save us. The daughter says louder as she backs away again. Angel, please, they are going to see us. I am the pilot, and we are going to fly this to where Daddy went. Get in now, please. No, don't go in there. We will be safe if we go to sleep. I need to help the pilot search, the daughter says louder, starting to cry. Stop, please, Angel, calm down, she pleads with her right arm outstretched. It's not safe in there, Mama, the child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarms. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another together with ghostly light, ghostly white light. The pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, the girl says over and over while shaking, and she faints in her mother's arms. The mother pats her daughter's face, gently. The sirens continue to blare, and soldiers are making their way down the walls. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, then over to the mech's open cockpit. My friends, listen carefully. You have a choice to make. Stand next to the magenta mech if you wish to stay awake with the mother. Stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajim, if you wish to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Yeah. Make your choice. I hope everybody listens to I, us. So okay, fellas. I don't want to go there again. If, we go if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. About the, the, the items. Yeah, me too. The only reason as to why I'm considering going over there is solely because Lucian is over there. It's probably not only for the Minecraft server. This is going to go very badly. We literally got two of the object items directly from the Minecraft server. It's a bad ending. No, no, every item is connected to the Minecraft server in a dramatic way. Pilot's Promise is literally something in the orientation. You have the Red Fang treasure map. That is literally in the Minecraft server. It's most likely going to have best cords for treasure there. And then guess what? I don't even have all of all that. We have Legend of Blossom Island, which is the legend of the Minecraft server. At least that's what it's... Blossom Island is the island in Minecraft server. It's, everything's connected. Everything's connected. I don't know, my favorite item that I got was the Dragon Master's Ocarina. That my really favorite cool. one was... Well, I like it. My, fa my favorite my favorite one was actually... I still have no idea where the minstrel made. I still have no where the minstrel made is. All I know is it's a 3D object. I found some... I found some... I found... My favorite one was a dream egg. My favorite one was a dream egg. The, mis Damn. the minstrels mean I, I missed like 11 or so of them. I only got like 31. Big Luna, tall Luna. It was like 41 or 42, something like that. 
You can be Trajan. Last time, like, almost everybody, the majority went to the mech. Or, uh, yes, be Trajan Tons. I cannot go solo. <laughs> okay. I'd say it's more balanced than it was you, uh, last time. You have chosen well. Gather around and My listen. friends, gather around and listen carefully. I, Trajan, will be your guide through the dark. For not to and Mother will protect us while we descend to the into the final nightmare. The cockpit. She then climbs in with her. <laughs> Everyone, please click the yellow please save point. Use the blue save point and wait for me on the other side. And so. Jeez, <sighs> It's time to face my nightmare. No, no, so we know we're gonna die. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Mm. I put a shirt on. Before yeah, someone gave me a shirt. And this floor is so trippy. Just because of the power of Oh, no coffee. <laughs> Picture time. <laughs> the unknown figure oh. jolts awake with awareness. As if they had just fallen. From up high, the undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of the sounds at all. But it feels somehow meaningful. Important. That's her. No. My. The figure speaks aloud, interrupting the sounds, but stops and hurries toward the noises. Nothing, I'm just saying to friend. <laughs> Ow. You have no idea what this is gonna mean. I love mm -hmm. that this is the only part of the entire tour I am that too. stands out so sickly. You remember it's just this grand drawing, I love it. Stands tall <laughs> in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices in the dark. The heartbeat is coming from this tree. This... this is mine. Uh, this was made for me. It was always made for me. The figure says. But... Where are the wings? Suddenly the air goes cold. The void quakes and bubbles up with tar. It drips down the tree and an image slowly emerges reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul, 
while your friends watch. Travelers, face me. Fight for your pilot's soul. Behind us. <laughs> oh, it makes noise now. <laughs> Suddenly, a tremendous sound erupts from no. nearby, shredding the very air into pieces. <laughs> the noise shakes the figure's <laughs> bones and threatens chicken. to split him open with sheer, raw power. From out of the nightmarish abyss, a shadow of tremendous size creeps. It pulls its heavy carapace, burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. Its face, naught but a maw, with three jaws, a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning its mouth is a heart, shimmering with all the colors, held hostage by the monster. Despite its first roar, the abomination does not scream now, it does not so much as grunt. It simply observes the fear standing in the middle of this nightmare, and the dream devourer readies to attack. The figure realizes they have items on them, and they quickly look over what they have. The Red Fang treasure map becomes a bayonet a melee weapon oh, somehow what? familiar to the figure. What? 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 The pilot's promise crumbles to dust in their hands. Oh. The legend of Blossom Island crumbles to dust in their hands. Oh, now we know that the, sh that the books are oh, useless in the battle. Left. My friends, do you well, see we got from earlier? You have only one option in this battle, and that is to attack <laughs> with the bayonet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, good. Oh, well, oh boys, we're so dead. Again. The red yeah, we're, we're in the purgatory. I guess we don't have a choice here. We're in the purgatory now. Because we need one option. This is why I didn't hmm. want to grab books. A bayonet. The dream devourer rears back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching. And with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer. The needles are faster than the figure, and they are impaled by the projectiles. They take one damage. The Dream Devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light. A burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching Hellfire up into the air, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer at an angle, aiming for the glowing opening of its mouth. The attack strikes true, the blade sinks into the gullet. It lets out a gargle and the figure leaps back to safety. The Dream Devourer takes one damage. The Dream Devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell closes in, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer, aiming for whatever opening they can find. But there are none. No damage is sustained by either combatant. The Dream Devourer rears back. Its spines bristling, its carapace crunching, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer. The needles are faster than the figure, and they are impaled by the projectiles. They take one damage. The figure, the Dream Devourer, rumbles and opens its mouth. And inside is light. 
A burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the sky, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure readies their trusty bayonet and rushes at the dream devourer from the side, aiming for the glowing opening of its mouth. The attack strikes true, the blade sinks in. The beast lets out a gargle, and the figure leaps back to safety. The dream devourer takes one damage. The dream devourer shifts and groans and begins to close in on itself. Its protective shell seals, covering its vulnerable areas with impenetrable material. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the dream devourer, aiming for whatever the opening they can find. But there are none. No damage is sustained by either combatant. The dream devourer rumbles and opens its mouth, and inside is a light, a burning light which grows and then erupts outwards, launching hellfire up into the air, ready to blanket the area before it in destruction. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the dream devourer at an angle, aiming for the glowing opening of the mouth. The attack strikes true as the blade sinks into the gullet. It lets out a gargle and the figure leaps back to safety. The Dream Devourer takes one damage. My friends, at great cost. You have made it to round Wait, two for the fight. What? Wait, really? Dude. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's the proof. Uh, are we gonna be? So are we gonna be his kill? Of course, worse. I, I am. A, I may actually be somehow. upset at proof. No. Worse just worse. Let us see. We gotta go into the next thing. Fate injured. is on your side. There are rounds, so it's gonna be a while. Or your be hit kill foolishness will one. cost you. We can get lucky. No, no, no. That one. We need to defend in that specifically one. I'd say there is. The Dream Devourer rears back and begins to rumble. It shudders and energy visibly emanates from its massive form, distorting the air all around it. It's aiming at the figure. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the massive Dream Devourer, aiming for whatever opening they can find but there are none. No damage is sustained by either combatant, and the Dream Devourer continues to charge. The Dream Devourer opens its mouth, and a sound comes from it. The air ripples green, and a metaphysical wave of mimetic energy comes tearing toward the figure. The figure readies the bayonet and rushes at the Dream Devourer, determined. But the wave of mimetic energy hits them, and they can only feel a moment of something strange happening in their mind before they are instantly killed. Oh, rib. Yeah, we need this mm. this. Uh... Is the one that we need to defend. No, we yeah. tried mm -hmm. defending this and we can't. Sadness. Only one can't option. We? We, can't defend. we can't. No, we they didn't we, tried. we did not try it. No. We have. Yeah, we tried mm -hmm. last time we did this. So brute force takes us through round one. <laughs> we know that now. How can I definitely But there may be a round three where that's not gonna be good. Their body spilling apart. Into How can smoke. I not defend this at all? Their voice dispersing. The figure speaks their last words. This, this isn't how the legend ends. 
That was so close. I have to find it. I have to save. All that's left is the sound of a slowing, muffled heartbeat fading to silence. It's time to wake up from this nightmare. This way. On your feet, Luna. Yeah, yeah, mm, just shit. making sure. We tried. So tell the people. Oh, well. Well, well now we know the voice is the right thing, unless. Possibly we get the full set. There's a few yeah, things we've learned. Yeah, a few things we've learned. Uh, yeah, other than getting all of the full learned, set, maybe we've done the items can crumble, can crumble to dust. Can be complete duds for us. Oh, okay. well, at least in terms of actually yeah, items. Unless, unless they can actually all combine into an item. Which... My friends, how Please. can how can we kindly remain here and decisions. wait for Sheen's power to mm. finish whatever they're doing? How can we? How can also we defend speed the second the stage though? Because they're all just at McDonald's. Or I don't know. Going on I think it's the same thing. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. 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 Round one, but I think we're going to need a lot more, more than that to get us to all the way to the end of the fight. What was the thing that doesn't turn that also turns into the Hoy shield? The pilot shield. The pilot shield. And that was yeah. No, 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 that yeah. has to combine with an object to convert and the pilot it. Shield. Yeah, no, the pilot shield can combine, combined with the ether and uh, veiler to become the Hoy shield. Watch the watch the vod. Wait, we already have a Hoy shield. with another object. So no, there's already an item called the Hoy shield. Yeah. No, I forgot. I. Is that what it is? The... No, the, the pilot shield turns into yeah, the silver so shield. When it's combined with the ether veiler, I think, remember, I think, it doesn't I just I combine remember, on its I own. Remember. I don't remember. Oh, I, I remember it combined with the ether veiler to become that. So we need the item that goes on its own. So the, the one item turns into this one Wasn't, item. Didn't the holy shield turn into a combine. silver shield last time we did yeah. it? No, it stood it as a holy shield, shield yeah. though. Well, it still be a holy shield. Identify what what items are what. Also, what the crap? Why the ban? Why a bayonet? Unless the Minecraft goblins use bayonets. Or no, we've maybe only been through it a pirates. few times. Maybe the concept of pirates had something to do with it. No, pirates use guns. World. I mean, okay, in, in the server itself, the pirates use guns. Well, the general idea of pirates, not like pirates in the server, but like pirates in general. Use yeah, yeah. Bayonets. <laughs> But wh why a bayonet? Know. Why a bayonet, though? Like, I... Yeah, saying, that's why, like, pirates. you don't really have bayonets. Yeah, just in general, but even then, like, pirates would fight with, like, uh, swords, and they wouldn't really use bayonets on the scabbards, you don't- or bayonets on the, uh, end of their weapon. Most of the time- well, I guess you have some pirates who would do that. Most of the time when you think of bayonets, you think of, like, an actual military group using them. Or like a guerrilla warfare group. I'm I'm well, confused why we we were familiar to that figure. Mm. You but yeah, I'm curious about adding uh, getting more and more items instead of just trying to solve it right now because of the well, extra dialogue and lore. We get other sites. I also wonder, especially if like, uh, if, like those books that disintegrated. I wonder if one or both of the we had a different a little... book. Rather than the, say like, I forgot the baby. treasure map, yeah, something like that. Woo baby probably does absolutely nothing. I would laugh if that, that actually did something. <laughs> if we had like all three though, like would they combine? Yeah, into just like uh, just we'll probably push. I'm That's I'm thinking we're probably gonna push for coalition info one, two, and three next time, just to combine them all and see if that does something as a set. And oh, if yeah, it also might take the mother, it might take the mother a different path. Because of uh, the information from the coalition was wrong when we came across that bridge, right? What if we gave her the right information? 
Oh, it's 1 a.m. Oh. I fell asleep in the rendezvous after all. Yeah, it's already midnight. She did. I was so, there. We don't know. Yeah. But I'm curious about getting more and more information. But um, I need. I'm going straight to the library after this. I'm gonna get me a. Uh, I want to hear them all, but I really want the treasure map more. I'm gonna hear them all, but I'm going to be the one to ask for the treasure map. Hell no, man! You guys gonna hear me fucking going? Just going like that. I need the treasure on the server. I probably just give it away, but I want to be able to explore. Where did Amber go? I don't remember. I keep forgetting. Yeah. My memory never serves me well. You know what's up? You know what's up? Out. Atlas should have been here. Atlas should have been Atlas here. Is, Atlas has been busy. I know. I think it's well, cool. when I was giving him that orientation, that. he took like three hours they, uh, to do his orientation. He was the same length as I was Hi. Why it took so much though? A fucking game crash. Oh, we did a full tour of the island. island. Good lord. Um, we did a full, a full, a full tour of the island. Yo, Complete full tour of the island. Yo, what the dog? Yeah. Did I gotta join the server? Yeah, I haven't that... joined the server in a while. Okay. So, so no, no, what's, no. Ha what's happening? It's a lot more. When huh? we do a soft reboot of going uh, to the next area, we will be able to purchase mm -hmm. lore items mm -hmm. using like currency we mine and find in game. That's so freaking cool. Awesome. You're so small. Awesome. Be cool. Yee. Yeah. So no, lore items so will so directly be connected to the Minecraft server. The My game crashed. How do we get back in there? So, uh, when are we moving again? You are back over there. Right? Uh, a couple, couple weeks, so but I, I'd say join and probably get some like, resources. Just, maybe so like, learned how to... Some yes, find out because... The other thing. Sheen says, Sheen says that there are currencies probably going to be diamonds or emeralds. So we need to mine as many of those as we can get. So as much gold, iron, room. and redstone as Do you, you can see find. It now, Just a little bit. Back I'm there? going to be mining for over the next... Yeah, is this better? The other oh, one, that's where you went. Yeah, we're, we're the, but the same yeah, height. Because he was asking a Minecraft chat uh, uh, what the currency should be. Yeah. Hey, we're taller than you! Just tell them the free yeah. time on my... Tomorrow morning. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Uh, pretend I'm fucking giving you a kick. kick your ass. I don't know. Well, let's hope they did better than we did. Look, I need a, I need a screenshot of it. Where is its bones? It's so it? stiff. There's no bones. There's no gravity. I have no idea how to do any of that. I am sorry. Trajan, there's a little bit of a... What the dog doing? Then learn. A little bit of darkness in your voice today. Is everything I'm all right? Just learn. Just chilling right I have a friend working on a new version of my avatar, and I'm not going to be doing anything we to stand update in my dark avatar until I got the new You're stuff. In dark times. <laughs> in a dark circumstance. Doesn't hurt, man. Nothing about this yeah. is light, Falcon. Nothing. Darkness envelops all. You're right. Bad ending time. No, I'm just ripping again. Neutral, I think. Ah, I think it's gonna be neutral. I think I'm on it. Fourth neutral, and we probably is. It's usually it's totally neutral. What the hell is the demon doing? It, it's. Just, I think we're, depending on what the other side we does. We did, but be like, <laughs> I don't. If, huh? if it was the bad ending, we would probably get like something like um, oh. something the very. Oh, the <sighs> it would be very like Please screaming at your face when like. When a, it would, uh, uh, we, it she would died. Be, if we got the I bad ending, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. It yeah. would be like it would Both be something like screaming at your face saying, "Hey, oh, try and get the ending." I tried, I fumbled the dust in my hands. I don't think it was going to be like strangely familiar. No one say does. They just have to recombine with the right eyes. Oh. Well, yeah. We weren't trying. So. Uh, the reason why you pick the books is for, like, other reasons, so, like, usually you pick, like, the one who picked a shield and a, a sword and it helped. We got really... Yeah, yeah. Gather around. That's what I'm gonna say. My friends. Gather around. The grand finale awaits. Listen carefully. The daughter opens her eyes slowly. The nightmare has left her head heavy and her mind in a fog. She hangs sideways in the passenger seat, suspended by the belts. 
She calls for her mother and struggles to unbuckle herself, but stops when she sees the nightmare come true in the sky. Far above where the wrecked Magenta Mech lies, the black clouds part, and the dark monument shows itself. Its monstrous form is like a growing void devouring reality as it approaches. Bolts of fire begin to drop everywhere, filling the sky with red. The daughter, unable to free herself, wishes none of this ever happened. She wishes her whole life was just a bad dream. She wishes she was safe with her mother. She shuts her eyes tight and wishes for a place no monsters could ever find. The magenta mech vanishes in the flames. My friends, travelers, use the gray save point. Ah, oh, what a shame. Oh, so fine. Another Rain bad end. Another mm -hmm. neutral ending, boys. Ending. It's called the cold hey. ending. Hey. Hey. The mech is hey. hey. He's fucking dead. The mech is fucking what the mech doing? What the mech doing? It's missing an arm. Its head is nowhere to be found. Ah, uh, it's just all bad, it's man. Mm -hmm. The head is. And the mother does. That's, that's the head. Anymore, that's either. the head. Those are the eyes. <sighs> I'm in. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, are you okay, okay buddy? What's you, okay, you okay, buddy? My yep. friends, mm. the up. story continues. Another worldly tree sits bathed under shifting blue light. The girl opens her eyes and is finally not met with fire, but complete silence. She manages to unbuckle her seatbelt and crawls over to the pilot seat. Mama? She speaks meekly. Mama, wake up. The little girl crawls into her mother's lap and holds her tight. but there's no response. Mama. Mama, wake up. Mama? Mama? She weeps for an answer, but no one would hear her cries. Not here. Beneath this ocean distortion. Not ever. Welcome to the neutral ending of the pilot. Yay. Hey. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 I want to do this again, but I have a feeling we won't be able to. <laughs> <laughs> The bad oh, one. This was the only fun one. Yeah. 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 This was the new yeah. troll. Yeah. 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 Let's give him. Oh, 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 we'll go back to this again. Jason. 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 Jason.
That was said in the child's path. And now, since they were said out loud in script, we can ask for them at the library. And then they can give us new descriptions. They're all related to the Minecraft server, which I don't get that at the reason. So we did everything wrong. I'm pretty we didn't get one sure thing we right. Oh, that's that 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 the red thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 There is travelers. At the fight, we... I'm so very sorry to interrupt you one final time. Listen carefully. Thank you. For sticking with us to the end of this story. Death is Once again. I'm sure you have questions, but first, a uh, few important things. This wonderful adventure with friends would not be po possible without my talented partners. Everyone, please put your hands together for my fellow tour guides, Rendizo and Trey Jim. My friends, and NPCs, thank you as well for your performance. It was absolutely wonderful. My friends, you know who we are. We are travelers. We tell story-based tours every Saturday. We do this for free. We do this for fun. We do ask one thing in return. For all of you newcomers here, I politely ask that you join our Discord. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Check my status to see it. Now, if you join the Discord, you will have access to information on how to join more of these events, as well as all the other clues and mysteries that the community is working on together to uncover the alternate endings of our tours. My friends, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. Our tours are free and will always be free, but we do have a Patreon for the assets we use for commissions to do these things. It's only $3 per month and joining grants you access to clues to all of our mysteries, behind the scenes features eligibility to play the NPC roles in our tours, the private Discord channel, and all of the weird stuff on our Patreon. Plus, joining grants you access to the CWT. To see the Patreon info, please go to our Discord to the info channel. There, you can find out how to join. Now, I'm going to let our lead writers of the CWT take the stage. After this, I will open a portal to the rendezvous, the after party. Oh yes, my friends, the CWT is the community written tour. It will be a tour written by all of the community together that us tour guides will perform for you whenever it is completed. Now then, lead writers, kindly come forward and have a few words. Hey Dolly, come here. <laughs> Hello. Hello, friends. Um, Hi. Wait. Hello, everyone. Hello. Now, f for the lead writers, the people in charge, so to speak, of the project, although it is a community effort, it's not just us, but for the lead writers, it is me, myself, together with Lucian, uh -huh. Bumbles, also known as Dolly, and Amber, who is currently not with us here, but, you know, in spirit, still present. Well, when it comes to this project, it's currently hitting its later stages, but it doesn't mean you cannot you know, tune in. If you have if you have an interest in it, we'll gladly catch you up to speed. Even in fact, as soon as tomorrow there will be another event specifically for CWT. It will be a writing event at C six p.m. CT, Central Time, uh, for sure. Yeah, and it's going to go for like you know, ninety to one hundred forty minutes. Although uh, we currently do not disclose any tour specific information to non patron members, even if you're not a patron member, we will still gladly answer any of your questions as long as you're not asking for you know, anything specific. We'll gladly talk about this ability with you and stuff. Our DMs are open. And yeah, it's a pretty cool project if you want to you know, leave a piece of yourself in a tour that will be performed by the tour guides. You know, 
Yes. Because it will be experienced as any other tool, like this one. Any other words, my friend, my other friend? Uh, do you want to go first, Lucian? Oh, sure. So, yes. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, <clears throat> just keep that in mind. Um, everyone is welcome to join at any point during this meeting. You might see that, you know, there are a bunch of us, like, in the voice channel in the Discord, because that's where it's going to happen. If you see a bunch of people in the voice channel, come say hello. We'll be working on um, the CWT, looking over people's submissions, doing writing ourselves, editing other people's stuff. And even if you haven't written anything, please join. Please, if you're interested in, in our project at all, um, we will gladly um, <clears throat> hear anything you might have to say. Or if you just want to listen to what's going on, that's great as well. Hello, I'm Plum. Um, first of all, thank you guys for coming to our tours. It's really nice to see new faces and stuff. Um, I'm really glad we've cultivated this sort of community. And that's why it's even more important that we get people on board with the CWT. It's a massive labor of love, both with the help of the tour guides, the help of the lead writers, and with the help of you guys. Um, our reasoning behind starting to do live writing sessions is that whenever we have meetings, we get the most ideas bouncing off of each other. And I feel as though it's better to work in a group where we're going back and forth rather than having people feel soloed and less, you know, um, how do I put it? More isolated. When you're working together as a team, I think that's really the spirit of what the VR Travelers community is. So we wanted to hold an event like that in order for us to really get things going. Even within the later stages, it's really nice to hear you guys' ideas. So I hope you guys come to the event. Um, thank you to Patreon members and the people who have been already supporting the CWT. And I hope that more people are able to get on board with it. Thank you. Yep, that's it from us. That's it from us. Woo, babies. Enough talk. I know you want to party, and so we will have an after party in the rendezvous. Please. Break every bottle in the at the bar tonight and raise the roof. I'll drop the portal. <laughs> Hey, you got your clothes back. Oh, okay, good. I might as well put my clothes back on since we're done here. See you in a minute. How? How? Wait, are you? Are you guys gonna?